Hey guys, it's Alexei, and today I'm going to be talking about priorities in a nutshell. Uh, someone was following this tutorial and asked me about, you know, the problem of he has some lag in his, with his other characters. And I want to show you just an example of what I mean, what priority, the priorities are all about having the right order in your object manager. Right now, as you see, the animation works fine. And these objects here, these hats, if you find them in here, they will be constrained or through MoGraph clone or whatever to the point on the mesh. And in the scene right now, the mesh is on top of the accessories. It's not a far parent or anything, but it's above them. So Cinema 4D will look at this first and go, this is the keyframe, this is where it's meant to be. And then it'll look at this object and go, okay, where is this meant to be? Ah, oh, the hat is meant to be on top of the head. Where's the head? Now look what happens if I put the accessories above all these, above the controllers. Now when I scrub through the timeline, the objects don't move. I have to click in the viewport for it to update. And here again, and I click in the viewport for a top date. Because now what's happening is it's, look, it's go, okay, so it places the accessory. Like it check, like it goes, every every frame, it goes through the scene and it goes, you know, where are the accessories, you know, and it checks them. Okay, so this is the keyframe and this is where they are. But the thing is it hasn't updated these objects yet. It's only like it updates the objects from top to bottom. So if the, if the objects that are dependent are above the objects that are controlling them, you will get this lag with objects. And as you can see, it just, you know, keeps on moving them incorrectly. So it's important to have your accessories below the mesh because that's what it's looking at. That's how it's placing, you know, where it is. See, and now it's nice and smooth and there's no issues. So let me try and explain this in a simpler file for you. Let's make a little box here. Let's plug in a null here over here. Let's make a sphere and let's move on top of a null and let's get a char character tag constraint and go PSR and put the null in there. So now the sphere is attached to a PSR. And let's also get another null because it's important to have a lot of objects. If you have just two objects, you won't notice much. Like right now, so you see the sphere is above it and the null is in the cube. If you move the board, you won't really get much of a problem. If you pay attention, there's a bit of a lag, but it's not really noticeable. But if we now get another null and we put it below all this stuff, and on the cube, we go character tags, constraint, PSR, and we don't tick, we just tick rotation, for example. Oh, we can tick position as well, it doesn't really matter. Now, if we rotate this, you see how the sphere lags? Like, look, let's move this so it's more obvious. Like, move it here. So now when we rotate this null, see how the board moves but the sphere lags behind it? That happens because it's in the long order. If you put the sphere at the bottom and the cube underneath, and now you rotate this null, now you have no problem. And there you go, that's, you know, that's what it is. And that, that's what priorities are. It's about having the right order in your object manager. Um, some tags have priority settings, like you can go priority expression, you can add offset. It's a whole other topic. You can right click and go show help and read about this in the manual. But in general, if you have some weird lag in your scene or the objects are being repositioned, it's because you have the wrong order of the objects here. You have to put the objects that are affecting the other objects at the top. You know, it has to be like a logical chain of command. Otherwise you will get these weird poppings and objects in the wrong place. There you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Check out nice5studios.com for more tutorials.